Hello everyone, I'm Swapnil M. Mane from Horvex Commerce. Welcome to tutorial series on View Storefront. In this video, we are going to talk about Add to Cart process in View Storefront. Adding product to the cart is one of the most important process in any e-commerce application. As View Storefront is progressive web app, it supports offline functionality. This makes its Add to Cart process even more special. In View Storefront, the Add to Cart process is divided into three phases, item actions, synchronization action, and merging action. In this video, we are going to look at the item actions, and in the next video, we'll talk about synchronization action and merging action. So let's get started. The story starts from Add to Cart button. I'm using Capybara theme. You may have default view storefront theme. Irrespective of this, the internal add to cart workflow is independent of theme. In the code, the add to cart method is invoked by add to cart button. So here you can see we have add to cart button and it is invoking the add to cart method on click. This method is defined below here. This method calls add item actions of cart module. All the cart related operations are taken care by cart module. The cart module is located in the core module directory here. Core modules and then cart module. In the action directory of store, all the action related to cart operation is defined. Our add item action is defined in item actions.ts file. This add item action internally calls add items actions. The cart underscore adding underscore item mutation is just used to disable the add to cart button while adding product to the cart. While invoking add item actions, here you can see first it is calling prepare products to add. In case of grouped type product system should add all the products associated with respective product here the prepare products to add comes into the picture this method returns the array of products if the product is of grouped type it returns associated product to this product in an array else for simple product type it will return the same product in array now let's see the add items action code. In the add items system, iterate over the products array and add them one by one. It first validate the product using validate product method to make sure pricing is correctly set on the product. And then we have some other checks like product stock availability, etc. using check product status action if all is well till this state finally cart underscore add underscore item mutation will be called which will add the product to state in case the product is already available in the state it will simply update its quantity for this it uses the products equal method Till this step, the product is successfully added to the client state, that is in client's cart. After this, the item is pushed and synced with server in synchronization and merging phase that we will cover in next video. This is all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. 